Hello and welcome to the next episode of the Cracker Pack series. Today we are opening up for the third time on this series a pack of Modern Masters, original Modern Masters nonetheless. Uh, considered one of the best draft formats, I think, uh, for a long time as far as actual printed sets. Uh, probably still is, let's be honest. It was really good. Uh, the power level of cards in here is by far, I think, one of the highest in any set, honestly. And I... I could be incorrect in saying that, that could be a little bit too far, but it's just so good. Uh, we will go through this and actually look at it from a draft perspective, so hopefully we can determine what would be our first pick uh, from this pack <coughs> Excuse me, as we go through. Uh, so our first card is Dampen Thought, an instant for one and a blue. Target player puts the top four cards of his or her library into his or her graveyard, and you can splice it uh, onto Arcana for one and a blue. Not a first pickable card in my mind at all. Uh, Arcbound Wanderer, modular with Sunburst, so basically uh, what this says is it comes into play with a 1-1 counter on it for every color of mana spent to cast it. Uh, so max in this case would be 5 in this draft format, um, otherwise it's just a 0-0, so you can kind of scale this a little bit, but it's a 6 casting card. So the idea is basically that this is sort of a top end and an artifact strategy which is actually one of the best strategies in my mind for this draft set. Uh, that being said, this would be th not the card that would put me into that deck, so not first pickable. Uh, speaking of artifacts, Court Homunculus, one white for a 1-1. One, one. Uh, gets plus one, plus, plus one, excuse me, as long as you control another artifact. Definitely a card I would want in that artifact strategy, but not first pickable. Uh, brute Force. Uh, instant speed, one red for target creature gets plus three plus three until end of turn. Definitely a powerful combat trick. I tend to not want those first pick though. Uh, Thalid, one green for a one one at the beginning of the upkeep. Put a of your upkeep specifically, excuse me. Put a one one. Put a spore counter on Thalid, excuse me, guys. Uh, you can then remove three counters from it to put a one one green sapperling creature token onto the battlefield. Uh, definitely a card I like. Not really great from my experience in the Modern Masters format. It's just a little bit too slow. There's a lot of really fast stuff that goes on in this, uh, specifically with the artifact deck. Um, so not necessarily what I'm looking for. Uh, Blinding Beam, two and a white for an instant. Tap two, you choose one, excuse me. Tap two target creatures or creatures don't untap during, their, th during target player's next untap step. You can also entwine to use both of them for one extra. This is actually a great card. Uh, out of the cards that I've seen so far, this is definitely the best just because uh, you can really, really get somebody with this in terms of, yeah, it's sort of a combat trick, but it's actually really a tempo play. Uh, it just does so much work. Street Wraith, three and two black for a three, four with Swamp Walk. You can cycle it by paying two life and that'll let you draw a card. This is a great constructed card for sure. It's fantastic and constructed. That being said, in limited, I don't think it was at its best in Modern Masters. Uh, definitely a needed reprint at the time, but definitely not going to be a first pick. <coughs> Pallid My Mycoderm, excuse me. Three and a white for a 2 4 fungus at the beginning of your upkeep. Put a spore counter on it. Remove three of those to, put, to create a 1 1 green sapperling creature token. And then sacrifice a sapperling. Each creature you control that's a fungus or a sapperling gets plus one, plus one until end of turn. This would be a card that I could see first picking and then wanting that Thalid later on. Uh, so, so far that actually might be my pick. Again, it's a creature, so that's part of why. Um, Bone Splitter, one cast artifact. Equip creature gets plus two, plus zero, and you can equip for one. Definitely a great card. It does a lot of damage. Not first pickable, but definitely something that in a creature deck you would want. <coughs> Uh, Sporoloth Ancient. So at the beginning of your upkeep, put a spore counter on it. Creatures you control have removed two spore counters from this creature. Put a 1-1 one, one green sapperling creature token onto the field. It is a 4-4 four, four for 5, 3, and 2 green. This definitely puts me in more than, uh, than the Mycoderm does. So I would pick that over the other one. Uh, our first uncommon, Auntie Snitch. Two and a black for a 3-1 Goblin, which is a good tribe in this uh, set. It can't block, it has Prowl. For one and a black, you may cast this card for its Prowl cost if you dealt damage to a player this turn with a Goblin or Rogue, uh, which oftentimes in the Goblin deck you will do. Uh, whenever a Goblin or a Rogue you control deals combat damage to a player, if this card is in your graveyard, you may return it to your hand. 
again, great. Recursion, uh, the Goblin Tribe is definitely a strong one. Probably, I would say, stronger than the Fungus uh, Phallid kind of tribe. Um, so definitely consider that. Lightning Helix, a red and a white, uh, for an instant, deals three damage to target creature or player, and you gain three life. Hugely powerful removal spell. It's a gold card, which definitely makes me want to shy away from it as a first pick. That being said, though, it is very, very good. Uh, Stir the Pride, four and a white for an instant. Choose one. Creatures you control get plus two, plus two until end of turn. Uh, or until end of turn, creatures you control gain whenever this creature deals damage, you gain that much life. You can also entwine this as well for one and a white. Definitely a great card and a go-wide strategy, which the uh, the Fungus deck definitely goes for that. Um, I would say not going to be the card I want to first pick, but definitely strong. And our rare is Blood Moon, uh, funny enough. So this is two and a red for an enchantment. Non-basic lands are mountains. Hugely powerful and constructed. Very terrible and limited, without a doubt. It's just not good enough. Uh, Tar Pitcher is our foil. Three and a red for a 2-2. Two, two. Sacrifice a goblin. It deals two damage to target creature or player. A card you would definitely want in the goblins deck, without a doubt. Uh, that being said, I actually think uh, my first pick might be the Snitch. Um, I know that seems kind of odd, but the goblins deck is very aggressive, very, very strong, and very, very fast. So I really like this because it does provide some recursion as well. If you can keep the pressure on, you can keep getting this back and, and safely attacking with it, and lets, it lets you basically keep that pressure on a little bit easier. So that would be my first pick. Uh, let me know if you think I'm wrong. That is totally fine with me. Uh, but with that, I think I'm going to get out of here. Guys, if you enjoyed this episode, make sure to leave a like or a comment down below. Uh, make sure to subscribe if you want to stay tuned for all of our episodes that come up three times a week. But with that, guys, thank you so much for watching. 